Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT control surveillance robots with video streaming and headlight controlling with obstacle detection. So here we have the uh, interface the motor DC motors through the L293 motor driver to this ESP8266 and Arduino Uno board. So Arduino Uno board will take the input from the browser section that is a forward, backward, left, right, stop and this input will be given to the L293D motor driver to control the robot movements. And here we have interfaced this ESP32 camera to the Arduino Uno board at pin number H. And based on the input signal from this one, we are controlling the DC motors through the L293 motor driver. And that was interfaced at the 4, 5, 6, 7 pins. And we have one more like sensor, ultrasonic sensor that is SR04 ultrasonic sensor which is used to detect the obstacles and whenever the obstacle is detected in a range of 50 centimeters below then automatically the robot will stop moving when it's moving in forward direction only and also we have next other sensor is metal detection purpose like landman detection will be achieved with the help of this metal detection sensor so it will detect the my like mines which are uh, mounted inside a soil then whenever the metal detects then it will provide the audible alerts through the buzzer which we have mounted on this metal sensor only here the buzzer will provide us the audible address directly for indicate the metal was detected uh, the so called location so coming to the ultrasonic sensor we are using the sr04 ultrasonic sensor which has a two sections one is a transmitter and there is a receiver one so the transmitter will transmit the ultrasonic sound waves if any obstacle is present in front of that the surface of the obstacle will reflect at this transmitted ultrasonic waves and that reflected rays will be received by the receiver module. Then the microcontroller will capture the time for this echo signal and as we know the sound speed and we multiply that with the time then we will get the distance and that will be converted into the centimeters directly. So the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 2 amp battery which is a rechargeable battery. So let me explain in the recharge section. We need to connect this battery at this slots. So right, we need to connect this B at this B slots and transformer at this T slots. And on the power supply to this transformer cable, then the light will show the status of battery is charging. Once the battery is fully charged, automatically this charging circuit will block the current flow from the transformer through the charging circuit to the battery. So it will take 6 hours to be fully charged, maximum of 8 hours. So if you forgot to switch off the charging also, then no need to worry about that. This charging circuit will block the current to overcharging of this battery. So after the time completion, you can switch off the power supply to the battery. So coming to the battery, we can see that there are two battery packs. Each battery pack consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp and this is 12 volt 1 amp. These two are in parallel. So we will get 12 volts 2 amps. But the operating voltage for our Arduino and ESP32 camera ultrasonic sensors is 5 volts. So for that we need to regulate that with the help of this LM2596 voltage regulator which will take 12 volts DC input and provide us the 5 volts DC output. So that is parallelly distributed to the Arduino ESP32 camera and ultrasonic sensor and metal sensor. And again the operating voltage for the DC motors is 12 volts. So here 12 volts directly to the L293D motor driver. So from here we are uh, giving that signal to the motors through this IC. And IC will get the signal from the Arduino Uno board. So let us see the demonstration. Before on the kits, we need to enable the hotspots. So by using the hotspot only, we can access the uh, camera vision and controlling the robots. So for that, go to hotspot settings of your phone and change the hotspot name to Project 5793. So there are settings. Configure that to Project 5793, all are small letters, without any space, without any capital letter. Password should be 12345678. After that, on the hotspots and now we need to install the network analyzer application so with this application only we can get the IP address of our uh, ESP32 camera so now after switch on the hotspot now on the kit so there we get the 
one device is connected right after this confirmation now go to the network under the application options scan and scan do the scan there we get the express right so this is the one is our mobile phone ip address and there is our express and copy that open the google chrome paste it and enter that switch so there you get the visions okay right so we can control the robot in a new touch and hold that that is keep on moving forward if the obstacle it is automatically stops over there backward left and right so in moving if any metal detects then it will give the audible alerts right let us see on the floor So while moving if obstacle detects then automatically the robot stops moving so we can see that it's not moving in forward direction only the pulse by pulse is moving as indication of the obstacle detected so headlight also headlight on headlight off Right. So the distance we set for is uh, obstacle detection is 50 centimeters. Nothing but around half meter. So it's near to two feet of distance. Right.